In this video, I'm going to share with you some of the plugins that are helpful in generating color schemes in Figma. So if you are a Figma user and you are worried about which colors to choose or how to create different color scales, uh, so this video is for you. So I'm going to discuss um, more than five different plugins and I'm going to share with you one of my favorites at the end of the video, uh, which you must install or have these. And if you have or know any plugin that I haven't showed in this video, make sure you write that in the comments be section below. So let's get started. So uh, here we have a very simple screen and we have two colors over here. So whenever you start a design, the first thing is that you do not know where to start with. So uh, I'm going to share with you some of the plugins I already have installed. Uh, one is this, uh, I think, color palettes. So if you click on this color palettes, it shows you different random palettes. So if you want to start with any palette, for example, uh, let's say I want to start with uh, this one. So I can just click on this and you can see it is actually showing me the whole color scheme. It brought it over here, this whole palette. And uh, I can add the, the, these to my colors or color styles and start working with this. So this is going to be your starting point. I personally don't like this uh, this tool a lot because uh, the searching is the most difficult over here. So if I try to use, for example, sunrise or fire or yellow, it doesn't search at all. So if I try to use hexadecimal value 5963, six for example so it is showing me a lot of things so for, as a designer i don't remember that i normally memorize these hexadecimal values so this is a bit difficult for me uh, another one i think with, with the same company i think is uh, brand colors so another one here we have brand colors so this is the same i think from the same developer i'm not sure who is this but um so here we have brand colors. So if you, if I'm designing something, maybe I'm designing a, a Facebook login or I'm designing a Google login button. So I can just select Google over here. So this is a, a, a bit better because I can physically type Google over here. So if I want to bring Google colors over here, you can see these are the colors that are used by Google and I can bring them over here like this. So what is happening? I think it is outside of this frame actually. Anyhow, so uh, I can grab these colors. For example, I want to uh, see the colors used by Facebook. This is Facebook blue. This is really handy tool to get brand colors quickly. Another one is uh, for material design. I'm going to now um, use my shortcut key command or control forward slash uh, matter matter color so it is actually for material design color so if you click on matter color uh, it shows you what you what name you are going to give to your color palette let's say uh, colors uh, for Anderson let's say something like that and I'm going to select my base color over here for example I am going to go with this one and uh, palette type you want primary complementary let's choose this complementary i'm going to click on this make accent colors uh, and make paint styles i'm i'm not sure what these paint styles are but i think maybe it's related to making uh, styles in uh, over here so i'm going to click on this so it is showing me the complementary color to that blue and if you click on any uh, color over here, you can see how it has named it. So this is the name I uh, used and slash is actually and the brightness of it 300 or darkness of this color. So you can see up to here it, uh, it has 900 and then the next colors are actually accent colors. So if you uh, click outside, you can see it has generated all the styles also. So if you uh, I have clicked outside on the art, uh, sorry, the empty area outside of the frame. And you can see it shows me that colors of Anderson has uh, all these colors. Uh, 
this is a really really handy tool for creating color schemes and um, let's try it again and let's use this time the same color this is going to be my primary color and uh, i can name it again color for anderson okay and make accent so create this and you can see now it hasn't created the blue palette over here because i haven't selected this option over here so uh, let's create it again and this time i am going to generate the whole color palette and you can see now uh, the problem is that it is duplicating it i think it should not duplicate it but it has it should have something again anyhow so um, this is how you can generate color scales so this is really nice these are few accent colors accent colors are going to be used as your buttons or links or something like that uh, then let's uh, start with another one which is color kit color kit okay so here we have another one color kit let's see what it has okay so this color scheme tool or plugin it uh, gives you some color code you can select it over here too so for example let's select something green over here like like this and i want shades uh, so you can see it has two panels light shades and dark shades uh, right now i want i'm interested in six dark shades so it shows that how much uh, value it should increase or decrease so let's call it 10 percent submit and these are all the shades of green by incrementing of 10 percent let's use it again and let's create this uh, colors for the lighter shade and i'm not sure what was the color for this one this one is this value let's paste it over here again and go to light shades and again i'm going to use six so here again the same color and we have light shades or tones of the same green so you can see these two are actually the same so if i want to paste it something like this so this is another tool this is another tool color kit uh, then we have color palettes so i am going to quickly go through all these few of them are really useful i am going to share with you i think we have seen this uh, already this is color palette i i do not like it a lot then we have color scale color scale generator so uh, this is another one I can paste the colors color over here hexadecimal value I can tell how many steps it should generate and let's click on create and uh, it has created this so the beauty about this is it creates darker and lighter both shades or tones and you can see over here so let's delete this let's delete all this and you can see over here this is nice one one two three four five six okay so we we also need, uh, almost need these colors like that so it also has named it properly 10 20 30 these are different you can say potencies or uh, of these colors how much potent these colors are light to dark so this is another one then we have color search this is an interesting one color search if i try to use this one let me show you this is a very very uh, good uh, for if you want you are doing something and I want a color of sky so maybe I am an illustrator and I want some color of sky I would be picking this one light sky color and just enter and it will be added on your color styles on the right you can see over here this is this is really nice so let's try to use um, lake lake color so i would be going with this lake color and i'm going to press enter and it is added over here then i'm going to use fire fire by the lake side and i would be going with a really fiery color like this one uh, these uh, for example i am building an illust illustrate illustration and i'm not an illustrator by the way uh, and i am searching all these colors let's um, say yellow and um, i would get different shades of yellows maybe i want 
something like this or maybe yellowish green or yellowish uh, let's call it yellow fire let's see how it does with uh, two colors so it is two words so it is showing me this orange let's add this orange and um, grass let's see what see what the color of grass is so this one is good so i'm going to press enter so you can see i have uh, acquired different colors that are almost uh, be uh, i'm I, I might be able to use them in a theme or in a design where i need something like grass or lakes or sky or fire or something like that so this is a neat handy tool uh, let's uh, select few more p a l e palette palette this one okay so the interesting thing about this one is uh, you can start by for example i have this design i can start by clicking on these two let's <clears throat> close it uh, i can start with some primary colors i can start with some so i have selected these two layers these two rectangles and i am going to select on this palette and you can see it has already generated colors that are related to these two colors so i have blue and light uh, bluish yellow color and it is showing me green i really love this i also really love this i i do not want this red in my color scheme and also it shows standard user interface american revolutionary art contemp uh, contemporary portrait photography the fall so i would go with user interface and this you, you can see it changes this color so there are few buttons over here that are actually not loading so you have to click over here to refresh it you can see now it is appear it is appearing refresh color palette so click on over here and it shows another color so quick click and over here so few colors i have already locked the others one i am trying to matching the last one so click over here again and this this blue okay so i like this blue you can also uh, load colors from a uh, an image and also we have dark and light mode so this these buttons are actually not uh, loading right now i think i have uh, mentioned this to the developer of this plugin let's see uh, it might be fixed in the next one but i really enjoy and love this uh, this simple little tool because it can generate color schemes that are related to what your main colors are so i'm going to save it over here and it is going to i am going to get all these colors so these could be this could be the starting point of your color scheme it shows five colors not more than that but i think it's a handy tool uh, next one is pelle pelle this one pelletier okay so i am loading this one okay so uh, for me i think this is the most useful one if you are building a color scheme uh, with uh, some you can say uh design system in mind then this is going to be the best this is going to be the best tool you can see i have selected three colors swatches per hue six you want six 12 or 18 that it's up to you i am going to go with six 12 six lighter six darker shades and i can also add another color which i am going to use as a darker shade like that so here we have another color let's generate palette okay so this is the best plugin out of all these i have seen why because let's zoom in and i'm going to show you first it has generated all different shades and tones of the same color second it is showing me the accessibility values of contrast ratios over this you can see white on this color and black on this color so if we move to the right on sorry the left we have lighter colors so the contrast between darker uh, for example this dark black color is very good so this is a really nice plugin and the other thing is if you go to your color styles on the right it has already added all these colors to the right side this is this is really nice you can generate your color styles and your uh, contrast ratios and everything instantly you do not need to uh, work with stark and other con color contrast ratios uh, plugins you just um, use this plugin palettier and everything is magic so this is this is really nice really nice for creating color palettes uh, for your uh, 
design system. So uh, this is actually, uh, these are actually uh, all the plugins I have found so far and I have used so far. I really enjoyed and love this one. This one is really good. And also this color scale generator is also very good. Uh, palette, palette, this one, this one palette and palette here. I think the palette is going to be the first starting point where you have to search for different colors. Uh, you try trying to match different colors uh, is it is this plugin is going to help you a lot then the palette here is going to build the whole color scheme or color scales with the contrast ratios also the material or matter color is also a good one good plugin uh, then we had um, color search which was i think a could be a good handy tool for illustrators or people that are doing illustration or artwork so that is all i hope you have enjoyed if you if i have missed anything or if you like any plugin or more useful plugin you can also post in the comments section below if you enjoyed the video don't forget to share subscribe and like this video uh, because i have seen that a lot of you do not uh, subscribe to my channel although there are a lot of people watching uh, and uh, 70 or 80 percent are not subscribers so make sure you subscribe because it give me uh, you can say uh, a juice to uh, create more videos uh, energy boost to create more videos so make sure you subscribe and like and keep on with the updates i do not make a lot of videos uh, but just the useful ones so till then i'm going to meet you in another video till then take care bye bye